What's up everyone, this is Hash, and I never thought that I would someday be making a video about a metal musician whose music I used to listen to, about this musician being part of the people who stormed or rioted at the US Capitol building in an attempt to stop the certification of the Electoral College vote to elect the new President of the United States. <laughs> Now, in this event that happened, which was two days ago, unfortunately, five people lost their lives. That's what's being reported so far in the media. It may increase. There are also a lot of people who were injured. This is an insane story. Now, real quick, if you do not know how the US election system works, we do not select our presidents based on popular vote here. We select them based on an electoral college system. So the way that works is, let's say you have a country of 10 million people. You have 7 million people who vote for candidate A. You have 3 million who vote for candidate B. That does not mean that the 7 million people's candidate gets elected. Instead, we have this electoral college system. Every state has electoral votes. I'm in California. We have 55 electoral votes for this state. Some states have less than 10 electoral votes. In the end of the day, the candidate who gets 270 electoral votes becomes the next president of the US. Now, these electoral votes from each state have to be certified in the first week of January. And that's what was happening two days ago here in the US. However, Trump supporters who are talking about a civil war and talking about rioting wanted to disrupt the certification of the electoral vote so they could stop the new president of the United States from being Joe Biden. Now, this is a crazy story. I saw a metal musician whose music I used to listen to in front of the line of people who stormed the US Capitol building. Iced Earth guitarist John Schaefer, who's also the founder of the band, was photographed in a crowd of people who stormed the US Capitol building. Not only was he photographed there, John Schaefer is also wanted by police now. The police released a PowerPoint presentation with pictures of people who were photographed storming the US Capitol building, and he is in one of those pictures. Now, he has given interviews before about how he does not support the US government and how he does not believe in the government. And he had given interviews where it seemed like he supported Donald Trump, and I think this event confirms it. He is in his 50s today, so he's quite the rebel as we can see it. To be fair, I haven't listened to any Iced Earth music in over 10 or 15 years. I couldn't tell you any of their song names or album names. I wouldn't have even known who John Schaefer is had I not read this. But I do have to admit that I did listen to their music for a very short amount of time. It was probably a few months when I was a kid. I do remember some of the artwork on their album cover. I thought that was cool. But I do not think supporting a hate group is cool. Now, if you've seen the videos on my channel, you know that I made a video about racism and metal. What I was trying to bring to light is that not everybody in this genre of music is all inclusive and welcoming of all people from different backgrounds, different colors, etc. I thought I would make a quick video about this because I think this is a crazy story. I will catch you guys next time. Take care.